I know starting a candle business can be both exciting and overwhelming, especially when it comes to pricing your own products. Trust me, I have been there and I have made my fair share of mistakes along the way. But don't worry, by the end of this video, you'll have a solid understanding of how to price your candles effectively. Before we dive into the nitty gritty of pricing, let's address some common questions you might have as a beginner. First and foremost, why is pricing so important? Well, my friend, pricing is the backbone of your business because when you start a business, you do it to make a profit, which helps you live a comfortable life, live in the house of your dreams, buy that fancy car, travel across the world, or even just have surplus money in your bank account. Get it right and you will be on your way to profitability. Get it wrong right and you might find it challenging to even stay in the business. Another question that might be on your mind is where do I even begin? Don't worry. In this video, we are going to break it down step by step so that by the end of this video, you'll have a clear roadmap to follow. Grab a pen and a paper and let's dive into the world of candle pricing together. Let's start with the foundation, the cost of your raw materials. This includes wicks, wax, jars, fragrance oils, containers, dyes or any other supplies. Underestimating these costs is a common pitfall. When I first started, I didn't account for how much these fancy jars would cost. I fell in love with those containers but failed to realize they made up a huge portion of my production costs. Needless to say, my profit margins took a hit until I adjusted my pricing. Calculate exactly what each candle costs you to make. Don't forget to account for your time and effort making candles. Melting the wax, adding fragrance oils, pouring candles, packaging, labeling, etc. Determine an hourly rate for your labor or consider hiring help. I can understand that in the beginning, it will only be you who will be managing all the aspects of work. However, it is important to determine an hourly rate so that you can account for it and monetize on it accordingly. There are ongoing costs to run the business, rent, utilities, insurance, advertising, website, production equipment, etc. Spread these costs across your product pricing. Also, you don't need to worry about rent if you're starting out your small business at the comfort of your home. However, you still need to account for other aspects such as utilities and production equipment, etc. If you ship orders, factor in the packaging supplies such as the boxes and padding and the shipping cost which is based on the weight and the destination. Research what similar candle companies charge both locally and online. You need to price competitively yet also make a profit. As a small business owner myself, I know how tempting it might be to price your products just exactly as your competitors are pricing it. But let me tell you, that is a recipe for disaster. I remember when I first started my candle business, I was so focused on undercutting my competitor's price that I forgot to factor in the cost of my raw materials and the cost of my efforts. Needless to say, it didn't take me long to realize I was running in losses and that I was wrong in my ways of working. Now before we dive deeper into these elements, let me ask you a question. Have you ever wondered how these fancy candle companies manage to, manage to charge such high prices? Well, stick around because now we are going to talk about product differentiation and how you can leverage it to command a higher price point. And speaking of higher price points, we'll also discuss the difference between wholesale and retail pricings and how to navigate those aspects. If your candles offer premium features like luxury vessels, special wax blends or high quality fragrance oils, you may be able to command higher prices. For any wholesale accounts like gift stores, you'll need to you'll need to allow a lower wholesale price 
to allow them to mark up the retail market price. Determine your target profit margin at margin of 50% or more of your total candle cost is sustainable. Don't sell yourself short. Use strategies like value-based pricing perceived on the value of the product or cost-based pricing, consolidating all the costs and adding a layer of profit on it or competitor-based pricing simply cloning the prices that your competitor offers well i know that we have discussed this in detail before however i would refrain you from offering any competitor based pricing because you do not know their cost that goes into making the product and if your costs are higher or lower there is a chance that you might end up making losses and like i said in the beginning you only do a business to make a profit so if you are making losses remember to iterate and remember that you have a choice to change and make a correction factor in any discounts that you will offer whether it is bulk pricing discounts loyalty programs etc as these will impact your revenue consider what your ideal customers will pay premium luxury candles can charge more while mass market products made with cheaper ingredients need cheaper pricing be prepared to adjust prices based on market changes increase cost customer demand and feedback well that was a lot to cover but pricing is the most critical part of your candle business survival and growth Use this guide to calculate a sustainable yet competitive pricing. Don't leave money on the table and don't put yourself out of the market either. Lastly, when it comes to pricing your products effectively, there is no one size fits all. Every business is unique in the way it functions, in the raw materials, the quality, the target market, etc. And hence, it's really important to determine the price that is right for your business and your profit margins and act accordingly. You will not be able to survive in the long run if you copy and clone other businesses' pricing or if you try and cut your prices to the edge of bleeding yourself out of the business. Lastly, you can also charge premium prices and I am sure there are customers who are willing to pay premium prices for your products as long as you are able to justify them. By considering and factoring all the elements that I discussed in this video, I am sure you will be able to formulate a pricing strategy that is fair to you and also provides a fair value to your customers. Also remember that pricing is an ongoing process and you will have to continue adapting and iterating as your business continues to grow. If you need help in taking your small business to the next level, consider booking a call with me to discuss your challenges and I'll help you formulate solutions that will work for your candle business. For anything else, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll get back to you. And if you have found value in this video, feel free to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.